Hi there, this is Matthew from Patchworks, and today we're gonna to have a look at ring modulation, frequency modulation, and amplitude modulation. A very simple overview. We wanna know what do they sound like and how do we do it? In this video, we'll be using the Sputnik Modular Variable Waveform Generator, IntelliGel Ring Modulator in 1U format, Beehive by Afterlater Audio, and the Mordax Data. For this first demonstration, we're going to take a look at ring modulation. Ring modulation is a signal mixing technique. It takes two signals, combines them, and outputs their sum and difference, excluding their original frequency. For example, if I had one oscillator outputting 1000 Hz and another oscillator outputting 600 Hz, the resulting frequencies outputted would be 1600 and 400 Hz. This is what is called sidebands. We're using the IntelliGel ring modulator in 1U format. One of our signals is coming from the variable waveform generator. You can see that here in green on the Mordax data. Another signal coming from the Beehive. You can see that in blue on the Mordex data. This middle signal here, that's going to be what we're going to listen to. So this is the ring modulated signal. Let's have a listen to it. Let's have a look at FM synthesis. FM stands for frequency modulation. We're gonna use one oscillator and modulate the frequency of another oscillator. Here on the Mordax data, you can see this green waveform. This is the Sputnik over here. This red waveform here, this is the Beehive. We're gonna use this green waveform to modulate the frequency of this red waveform. I have the Sputnik running into the FM input on the Beehive. This attenuverter controls how much positive or negative modulation I apply to the frequency of the Beehive's oscillator. take a more complex wave shape and modulate it. Similar to FM, AM uses two oscillators, one to be our carrier signal and another to be a modulator signal. However, this time, our modulator signal will be modulating the volume. If you take a look at our oscilloscope, you can see our carrier signal in green is our variable waveform generator. Our modulator signal is this blue signal coming from the beehive. Our output, the signal that you will hear, is this red waveform here. Let's have a listen to it. I'm now going to adjust the carrier signal.
Here's the modulator signal. This beehive is modulating the VCA's CV input. That's what's causing the amplitude changes. The more complex the wave shapes, the more complex the sound you get. All right, for this last patch, I'm using all three techniques. Ring modulation, FM modulation, and AM modulation. But on top of that, I'm running it into this delay. And I'm also using one of the oscillators to modulate the frequency of that delay. It sounds pretty crazy. Check it out. sounds like I'm on an alien planet. I'm using this Duat's unipolar output to offset the frequency of three different oscillator sources. So all I have to do is turn one knob, and it makes crazy adjustments to every single parameter in the patch. I'm Matthew from Patchworks. I'll see you next time.